So I'm going to go ahead and open the panel and uh, I'm going to collapse this. So we have all the files that we should have at this point. So the config file, the package.json, the package like.json, and then we have the node modules because it also install all of these dependencies and dev dependencies that we have in the package.json file. So let's close everything here. So now what I want to do is to create the index file. So I'm going to go here and then do index that uh, let's do TS. Okay. So we have the index file and I also need to create the SRC folder. So I'm going to do SRC. So remember everything is going to go inside of the SRC folder. So I'm going to grab this and move it over to the SRC folder. Okay. So we're not going to have everything hanging out out here because we have configurations and node modules or whatnot. So we need to organize things a little bit, which is why we're putting this uh, index file inside of this source folder, because that's where all of the TS files are going to go. So inside of this source folder, I'm not going to go ahead and create the distribution folder or the disk folder. So if we go back here, remember we have this folder that we're talking about here. When we compile everything for the first time, then this should be created. So I don't need to manually create it here, but feel free to do that if you want to. What I want to do just to test this out is to just put a console that log, and then we're going to pass in a message here. And you know, that message is going to be hello world. I'm going to go ahead and just console log that just so we can test this out so we can make sure that all the configurations are working. And that's also another reason I didn't, uh, you know, create the distribution folder manually because I want to see everything in action. So now if I run the, uh, so this script, so the build, it should go ahead and compile everything and then put the JS version of this index file inside of a new folder that's going to create, which is going to be the distribution folder. And inside of this folder, we should have the index.js that we're pointing to here, as you can see when we run the prod script. So I'm going to go ahead and bring back my terminal and I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen. So if I do npm run and then pass in the script name, so if I scroll down a little bit, you see the script that we want to run is the start build. So I'm going to go ahead and type start build. Okay. So this is go ahead and run this command and then build the project. Also make sure you're inside of your project because it's going to go ahead and look for, you know, the TS config file, the JSON file, and it's not going to find it. So if I go ahead and run this, okay. So it looks like it ran successfully. And if you look over here, you can see that now we have the distribution folder. And if we look inside of it, we should see the index.js file and you can see it right here using JavaScript instead of TypeScript. So we know that everything is working properly and I can uh, go ahead and get rid of this file altogether. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate everything. So we know that our configuration is working. So now we can uh, start working on the actual Node.js application and build our server and then uh, start coding.